Let's move on to how we can really supercharge clarity with forewarning. So I think it's worth mentioning a quick safety tip. If you CIP with sodium hydroxide straight after you've cold crashed and racked the beer off, make sure you leave the racking port open. Here's why. Caustic reacts with CO2 to form sodium carbonate and water. That reaction sucks the gas out of the headspace and drops the pressure like a stone. With no vacuum relief valve, your fermenter can crush like a beer can. Stainless or plastic, it doesn't matter. Same principle as an oil drum collapsing when it's cooled and it's sealed. So make sure that the racking port is open on your fermenter and it'll stay looking like a fermenter instead of a piece of modern art. So cold crushing alone does a pretty decent job by itself, but if you real that real wow factor, then clarity findings are gonna be your best friend. So gelatine is my go-to. It's cheap, it's fast, and it's effective. And more importantly, it's not vegan friendly, which brings me a whole stack of joy. Look, vegans are like crossfitters. They completely ignore the first rule of Fight Club and they just never shut up about it. So vegans, when they drink beer, they're already drinking yeast, which are living organisms too, and that just makes me laugh. So yeast have rights too, you know, even though they're not fluffy and cute like that little bunny or that cow that you're about to eat. So gelatin binds proteins and drops the haze out in cold beer. It might take a couple of days, but the polish that it gives is incredible. All right, all right, I know the vegans are gonna come at me. So colloidal silica. It's vegan friendly, it works well, you just gotta be careful with it because it can strip the flavor out of your beer.